Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a review about Aloe PHA Skin Toner from Benton. So, this is my first toner from Benton and it looks amazing, I think. Because so many reviews saying that this product is really good and it works to their skin. But I also found some review that saying that this product is not really that good. So I'm gonna give you a review about Aloe BHA Skin Toner from Benton. And I will also bring you along during two weeks of trial. So make sure you stay tuned. Okay, first of all, the packaging is just amazing. It contains 200 milliliters of product, which is a lot. And it's also cost very affordable. I got it around <clears throat> 120,000 rupiah. It's around 10 or 14 dollars. I'm not sure how much is it if you purchase from the Benton website. I purchased this one from the store so it's kind of have a different price with the real website. And it also contains active ingredients which is salicylic acid 0.50%. The inactive ingredients such as aloe barbadensis leaf water, aqua, butylene glycol, snail secretion filtrate, and many more. I've read that a lot of skincares are into snail secretion filtrate or snail thing. They say that it's actually pretty good for your skin to hydrate your skin or stuff like that. I never actually try anything with snail. It's kind of creepy for me. But let's see how it is. And the purpose of this product is also anti-acne. So if you have an acne-prone skin type of thing, then this product is probably suitable for you. Moving on. This is the first day of me trying this one. I have a really large pores over here. <clears throat> and I also have redness. And I'm currently having some breakout because I've been sick for a week. And I'm not using any skincare at all. I literally just laying on bed and all I did to my skin is putting on aloe vera gel. There are also many ways to use this product. My friends use this product using cotton pad, but I prefer really using this product using my hand. I'm putting two pumps. But it's not oh it's not so liquidy but it's not really gel actually which is amazing I'm not saying this is amazing it's different like usual toner that I've been using mostly the toner that I've used are so liquid almost like water so this one is a bit like gel I'm rubbing it on my hand and just do this It doesn't have smell. Oh yeah, one of my favorite things about this product is it's fragrance free, it's parabens free, it's safe for sensitive skin. Mm. Okay, I haven't feel. So if you have sensitive skin, this one is probably suitable for you. I'm not feeling any difference on my skin yet, but I will tell you later. If you've been using Western skincare, like Estee Lauder and stuff like that, probably you need to adjust using um, Korean skincare. I don't know why it happens to me a lot. I've been, I've always been using Western skincare, and when I switch to the Korean skincare, it's not working at all. Like, it's just quite different. Like the Western skincare always works on me, but when I use the the um, Korean skincare, it it's not working at all. I don't know why. But my friend who've been using Korean skincare for so long, they say that whenever they use a Western skincare, it just feels a bit weird on their skin. But when they are using the Korean skincare, it's all good. It works. So hopefully this one will work on me since I'm trying something more friendly to my skin. I have sensitive skin. I have an oily skin on the T-zone and dry, almost normal to dry around here, which is sometimes is pretty weird. So we'll see after two weeks of trial.
feeling like my skin is not much showing a difference but I do feel like after I'm using this I feel my skin is more hydrated and also it feels uh, fresh or something but it's not like huge amount I think I need to use it a couple more days Hey guys, so this is the 11th day I've been using Benton Aloe BHA Skin Toner But I kind of missed one day yesterday because it was New Year And I went swimming so that's why I got a little bit tan skin But the tan wasn't really bad because I put a lot of sunblock on my face On my skin So let's see if this one can fix this I'm pretty sure I got better results because I feel like my skin's got moisturized and feeling very well so far. So yeah, let's try this one. Hope this can fix the sunburn and the tan skin. Hey guys, so I did my two weeks trial of Benton Aloe BHA Skin Toner and to me, I have my own opinion but if you have your own opinion then it's okay to me, this product is good but not the best this is bad but not the worst the thing is, it does make my skin look hydrated it does make my skin look um, more glowing but somehow, I don't know why, my pimples keep coming back Although I'm not sure that the pimples is exactly because this product Because, you know, at some point, I didn't notice that the pimples coming back But at some days, they are coming back It's just some days, the pimples coming back So I'm not sure if the pimples is because this toner but I do sure that my my skin um, is getting pimples easily. You know what I mean. Um, so so yeah, I think it's good because it hydrates my skin and it makes my skin glowing during the day after I'm using it. But it's not really the best since what it does. It's just. It's just like a usual thing that I can find in so many toners. It's not really that the bad. Maybe if you're into Korean skincare, then this product is absolutely fine because you know, like I said before, if you're into Korean skincare, then it's always easily for you to try any Korean skincare. But I'm not into Korean skincare, which is why I need to adjust to this toner. But I think I will recommend this one if you are used to Korean skincare and if you are not used to Korean skincare then I I don't I'm not really recommend this unless you are looking for something that hydrating your skin in a safe way and something that makes your skin glowing after the um, the usage and if you are wondering if it's safe for pregnant women I think this one is safe I believe FDA released on their website that BHA is pretty safe in some certain amount. I'm currently pregnant right now and I feel and I feel it, it helps my skin a lot because I have a super dry skin sometimes and it hydrates a lot even though it's not much doing the thing on my skin and it's also like free paraben, free alcohol and um, most of the ingredients are from aloe which is great. So yeah, if you are into a Korean skincare, I definitely recommend this because it definitely like hydrates your skin Although it's not like much, but it's just enough But if you're not into Korean skincare, I don't recommend you because you will need to adjust with this situation And that's all for me, my review Yeah, this is good but not the best, this is bad but not the worst I'm saying this is just average and it's also pretty cheap if you are asking the price 
So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any other review or your own experience in using this toner, then please leave in the comments because that will help a lot. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!